All right, so let's go ahead and select the bark part and let's tab into object mode. Now we're gonna to have to do a cut up through here because we're gonna to have to unwrap this again. So let's go ahead and hover over it somewhere. So if we go to one, maybe we want this on the back side here just so we don't see any happen of a, of a, of a, so if we go to one and then we push control one, that'll take us to the back. So why don't we pick one of these seams or we're over here maybe towards the side. We'll do an alt, click, and you see it's selected everything here. And then we'll do a control E, mark scene. All right, so that's ready to be unwrapped. But we want our geometry to be a little bit different because we're going to do a, we're going to do what's called a displace modifier. So we have to have our, our geometry a, a little bit higher than this. So let's go ahead and select everything, A to deselect, A to select. And then what we want to do is a uh, W, our specials menu, and we want to subdivide. Now see, we, we wanted our beginning squares, we try to get them as square as we can because it's better to have the squares than rectangles. It recognizes a little bit better. So let's go ahead and, and number of our cuts, let me crank this real high because we don't have, you know, 15. So we'll go 10, that, that should be plenty for ours. And you can always subdivide again, but we're gonna be putting a subdivision service on here. So we'll do 10 cuts on here. All right, so now let's go ahead and Extend our view over, and let's do UV textures, UV image editor. We'll go ahead and hit the U key, and we'll unwrap this. Might take it a few seconds, and there we go. There's our tree trunk. Very dense. And some other things we can do here is we can. Average island scale, pack islands. We don't want our tree going this way. So we want to rotate 90 degrees. Okay. I'm going to grab this. We'll just pull it over here somewhere. Let's try to minimize our stretch. Which I can see isn't going to do much on here. So we're not going to worry about that. Just right click out of that. Since this is a very dense mesh, we're going to go ahead and open a new texture. Go up here to our materials, images, axe images, and this one we want our bark deciduous 0083. And open that image, and there we go. If we scale this up, and we can play with this a little bit, a little bit more here in a second. So let's go ahead over to our node editor. Do a node editor. Let's do over here. Let's get our get it started by adding a material. And let's go ahead and shift A. Let's do shader. We'll do a. Uh, um, I'm sorry, not shader. We want to do a texture, image texture. We'll open that bark deciduous. Let's put it down here in the color. Let's do a shift A. Let's go ahead and do a vector or input texture coordinate. Take our UV down to our vector. See, sometimes you, if you get higher geometry, Plus the recording software I'm running, it'll slow it down a lot. All right, let's go ahead and look at this in rendered mode. Actually, I think that's a pretty nice size. Really. Great. So that'll work there. So let's go ahead and this one, let's do a Shift D. Let's move this down. We'll take this color and we'll put it in this displacement. Out a little bit of a, a map here. Actually, this that should be all right there. Let's change this to non-color. Vector. 
All right, so this is going to be very diffuse, so we want to actually change this up to be a little bit more, a um, little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more shiny, so let's, we're going to have to add a gloss shader in here too. Let's do a Shift A, shader, and we'll do a glossy. This into the bottom. Okay, that's way too glossy, so we're going to turn this down. And these are not going to be very glossy at all, so we'll say a 0.1. I think that should be plenty. All right, let's go ahead and collapse this in. Hovering over here, right click, join area. So we do have a material already. But the next thing we're going to do is we want to add that modifier to it. So let's add a modifier. Let's go ahead and do a, um, I'm going to do a displace modifier here, and it just kind of goes crazy. Let's go ahead out of edit, I mean out of this mode, just so we can see what's going on. If we go back into object mode, you can see what's happening here. It's just applied a generic, a generic image to it. But we want to go into our textures here. And we want to do our displace. We want to do a new one. We want it to be image and movie. We're going to open our bark deciduous. And once again, it's still kind of crazy here. And everything else should be good. So let's go back to our modifier. We do have this one here. Our texture coordinates are going to be UV, which will change a little bit. And then we're going to take our size. Move this out a little bit. And our strength is way too high. You'll notice you don't have to have much strength on it all. And if you go into the negatives, it's like... One. I'll shake this smooth. That's probably too high. So you probably want a point zero five, maybe. Yeah, something like that. That should be pretty good. And let's go ahead and add another modifier and do a subdivision surface. Oh, there we go. So there you go. Um, you, you want your subsurface on the top part here. So if we do our strength, sorry, point zero two five. I think that should be pretty good right there. We've actually changed the geometry, but you'll notice how slow this is This is rendering. So let's go back and let's look at this in rendered mode. It'll take a couple seconds here. And there we go. Looking pretty good. Now what you can do is if you have, if you think that your computer's running too slow, a couple things you can do, because we're going to start working on the top part first. So let's go ahead and hit this eye and hit this eye. And we go right back to where we were. And we can actually even hide this more in the mesh, because that'll be fine. Let's go into seven. 